Hey there, Friday email listers. Today I want to show you the very dull and unimaginative library catalog. Um, I'm just kidding. It's really exciting, but it's hard to find stuff and it's hard to appreciate what you've got there because there's so much stuff available online that's exciting and quick. So let me show you how to get to the stuff that you're looking for. Interesting thing, we used to have um, somewhere in the neighborhood of like 60 to 80,000 ebooks. But well, we just got a new program, and there's new ones coming all the time that all of a sudden increased our ebooks to, I don't know how many, over 100,000, something like that. It's this one right here. Something big has arrived at the Marriott Library. At any rate, what this means to you is that you can find a lot of stuff that has been published even in this current year on your topic. When you're doing a search, try searching for your company, but typically what's going to happen is you're going to find something on your industry or something related like a marketing practice or what have you. So don't be discouraged if you don't find something on your company. And remember, if you're off campus, to click on the green off campus logo. So Mary Library homepage, I'm going to, for my Time Warner person, I'm going to type in music industry. Now remember, do you remember before where I put stuff in quotes? Try it with quotes, try it without quotes, you'll see how it goes. This catalog is a little more dynamic than the one that we used to have. And you can hit enter, click go. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to get that you're probably going to want to um, trim down a little bit. So there's all the facets down the left hand side. For today, especially for the resources that you're going to use for your final paper, um, I would encourage you to avoid the articles. I'm going to show you the different databases and how to get into those. And this is more of like a a federated search engine where you're going across many databases and you don't know what they're looking for so avoid that click on books right here and you can see just from music industry 5,400 books um, that's a little crazy isn't it and here's um, what I would like you to do after that if you're at home or even if you're here at the library or on campus click on full text online and you will just get ebooks now you don't necessarily have to come into the library. Now for some of the searches you might want to just look at everything. Um, but here's a right, here's the interesting thing. This is sorted by relevance. The relevancy rating is created um, it's kind of mysterious so if you don't like that you can sort by um, the date or the author or something like that. Here is how you see those different books. Each one of these ebooks probably comes from different publishers and there might be different ways to look at it and interface with the book. Um, but let me show you one. Here's Music and Cyber Liberties. I'm guessing this one's about the downloading problem that the music industry's had for 10 years or so now. Here's an interesting thing. Do you see Wesleyan University Press, University of California Press? Um, that means it's scholarly because it comes from a university press. This is a professor who's writing about these different things. If you click on the book title, or the book logo, it will send you right into the ebook. But let me show you something before we do that. Also, view resource will put you there. If you click on details, you can see um, there's other things that you can click on to see other, more books. Sound recording industry, music and the internet. Uh, but over here, if you go over here, this your results vary on this one. This is a good example. But you can see the table of contents of the book before you even go into it. So what you're looking for isn't a whole book that serves your purpose, but just one chapter will do. So I'm going to click on Table of Contents. And then this one, ironically, doesn't have a Table of Contents, but here's a cool thing. It's got a summary, and it has a review. The review is somebody who read the book, who's educated on that industry, and they give you an opinion on how accurate it is, how influential it is, and so on. But the neat thing, this was just published a couple of years ago, so it's very relevant. University Press, this would cover one of your scholarly sources. So let me show you what this particular ebook looks like. Even if you're on campus, you may have to log in. Don't be put off by that. And it, oh, there's the table of contents. How interesting that they were right here. So let's see. <laughs> there's ethics, projects and prospects. You just click on it. It's just like a website and it loads the book. If you get um, lost in some book, just send me an email. I'm happy to help out. But essentially it's like a PDF. And you can, some of them you can cut and paste, some of them it's a little more um, restrictive. It's, there's different controls across these. 
Oh, there's even a read aloud feature. That's cool. So there's how you can find ebooks on the library catalog. And note, when I put in music industry, I got 5,000 books. Not all of those are going to be on the music industry, but that's a pretty healthy uh, prospect for things to look for. So have a good Friday, and I'll see you next Friday.